Hello everyone, I'm Arun Babu Nalamara and welcome back to Tatveda. In our journey so far, we've uncovered the evolution of scientific thought from ancient cultures through the bold shift to heliocentrism. Today, let's peel back another layer. The barriers that make it so hard for groundbreaking ideas to be accepted even when the evidence is there. By understanding these barriers, we can see why some theories soar while others remain grounded despite their potential. If you are still here, it means you are genuinely interested in this type of content, big challenging ideas about the universe. Be sure to comment below with your thoughts or questions and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. If you like this video and find suitable to some of your friends or social media groups, pause this video for a second, hit the like button and share the link with your friends or your social media groups. Thank you for this big favor. First, consider the power of tradition. We all feel safer clinging to the familiar. And that's true for entire societies as well. The geocentric model persisted not just because of limited tools, but because it fit neatly with religious and cultural beliefs. Traditional mindsets can make us doubt anything that contradicts our worldview, even when data starts piling up. This is why paradigms don't change overnight. Any shift requires a tipping point where new discoveries become impossible to ignore. Then there's political and social interference. In many societies, those in power have shaped the direction of research. When people like Galileo challenged established norms, they weren't just questioning a scientific idea. They were questioning an entire system that had political and religious underpinnings. Unfortunately, history shows that governments and institutions sometimes label new ideas as threats, silencing or punishing the individuals who propose them. Even today, funding for research can be swayed by political agendas, limiting what paths scientists can pursue. Another barrier is lack of rigorous evidence or methodology, at least initially. Take the phlogiston theory in chemistry. It gained popularity because it offered a neat explanation for combustion. But it wasn't backed by experiments that could stand up to scrutiny. Over time, scientists like Antoine Lavoisier developed better testing methods and showed that oxygen plays the crucial role, effectively debunking phlogiston. Without rigorous methodology, even interesting ideas can become scientific dead ends. We must also acknowledge limited resources and accessibility. Throughout history, Many promising theories arose in regions lacking educational or financial infrastructure. If no one can read your work or replicate your experiments, your breakthrough might fade into obscurity. The same goes for translation barriers. Imagine how many insights from ancient texts or foreign papers might have been lost because they were never translated or shared widely. Finally, there's the issue of overfixation on certain big theories. We pour enormous resources into validating or extending well-known frameworks like Einstein's relativity, sometimes at the expense of smaller or more radical ideas that could be just as significant. When a specific theory commands almost all the attention, alternative avenues may get overshadowed, slowing down the pace of transformative change. So how do we move forward despite these barriers? It begins with open-mindedness and consistent testing. The best scientists ask, could we be wrong? They welcome data that contradicts their assumptions because it's a chance to refine or even replace those assumptions, encouraging multiple viewpoints and fostering an environment where all hypotheses are rigorously tested keeps our collective search for truth on track. For us, as explorers of layer density theory, LDS theory, or any other revolutionary idea, acknowledging these barriers is the first step. Maybe the notion of life existing within electrons or subatomic realms will sound outrageous to many, just as heliocentrism once did. But if we approach these ideas with a blend of imagination and solid testing, we might uncover hidden truths that could change our worldview. In upcoming episodes, we'll explore key transitions in science and see how they overcame enormous skepticism and cultural resistance. By examining these scientific revolutions in fields like chemistry, medicine, and quantum physics, we'll discover patterns that can guide us in nurturing our own emerging theories. Ultimately, it's a reminder that 
every major breakthrough, be it Copernicus's heliocentric model or the germ theory of disease, had to battle cultural and institutional inertia before being recognized. Thanks for watching and remember, obstacles are not roadblocks, they're markers on the path to discovery. If you find value in diving deep into these topics, please consider subscribing to Tatveda and sharing this video link with your friends. In our next video, we'll look at some of history's biggest scientific transitions, from miasma theory to germ theory, from classical physics to quantum leaps, and see how these breakthroughs finally cut through the noise. Until then, stay curious and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. I'll see you soon. Thank you.